Okay, guys, I'm back again. So, yeah, we we stopped at the whole sundial doing a reverse split, and um, if you if again if we pay attention, we would see that um, sundial, AMC, GameStop, BBIG, um, B, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and uh, you know all those other meme stocks mainly, but those particular ones that I've just mentioned, SPCE, those those five um, have such a huge, 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 huge potential. And then you can t tell that on the chart that they're literally trading them and algorithmically exactly the same. Um, and sorry if I didn't mention any other ones like Cos and you know, Tilray and any of those, those they're again, or Blackberry in the same, in the same, um, you know, category, but you know, we're not making a video just to name the stocks, but you know what, you get the point. Um, this proves the idea that I was already mentioning in the previous videos that when AMC GameStop goes up, and I think I'm the only one that's saying this. Um, maybe some, I, I don't know, I'm not watching every person's channel and I'm not, you know, may, like, you know, catching up, but I haven't seen any of the prime time YouTubers, whatever, if that's a, if that's a, something you want to call them, um, have been covering, you know? Everybody's saying, oh, once we jump from this, we're going to jump into Sundial or whatever. I don't think that's the case. I've been saying that, when one is going up, the rest of them is going to go up because they're not, again, these hedge funds and the system that they're trying to put in place with all these new regulations, they are not trying to deal with any of this crap that we've been going through for this quite some time in the past um, again. And they don't want it to continue. So the real predictions here is is like or the tough prediction here or to to, to to try to get is will they take it out all on crypto and you know just drop it astronomically low and um, you know vanquish many of them and just leave the ones that are already in place which is why it makes sense to just you know think about the prime ones like the the Bitcoin or the Ethereum's or, um, you know, those, those particular two for me are, uh, or even ADA Cardano, those three are, are, are the most. And I'm okay. I'm big on SHIB and Doge and all that, but more Doge than SHIB again. Why? Be because they're already so implemented in so many corporations, specifically Bitcoin, um, and Ethereum. I mean, Ethereum already incorporated itself in life more than any other coin uh, simply by having the whole blockchain similar like the NFTs. If, you, if, if, you're, if you're into NFTs or whatever, what, so, or what for, um, you know that Ethereum is the most important uh, technology because all NFTs run on Ethereum, um, you know, blockchain. Uh, maybe there's some other smaller ones here and there, but literally about 80 to 90 percent of nfts run on ethereum blockchain um besides that all the other uh coins bitcoin is specifically just kind of like grandfathered in because you're talking about it's a value coin and now uh i don't know should i just continue talking about these scriptures again like i told you guys before i have so much to say but i haven't get been you know really getting a lot of uh comments or uh, likes again we just started fairly new a few days and um you know i've only been getting many questions obviously from the people that personally i know or within my area and so that when i upload this uh these videos they are the ones who are getting it i guess first so i don't know maybe i need to work on this uh promoting it outwards or outside of this region anywho I'll step away from Bitcoin and the cryptos for a second and get back to subject and I'll make crypto videos. Tell, let me know if you want to hear more about cryptos, uh, you know, in later videos. So anyways, um, they're, they're, all those meme stocks are going in the same movement, kind of like uh, in the same 
up and down uh, algorithmically, which, which again, does not beg the, the, the question, but in fact makes the answer for you. All you need to know is that they are moving together, whether up or down, which means when they break up, they're breaking up together. Now, how uh, how high each one is expected to go? Now, obviously, that's that's the main uh, you know question. Depends on the investors and how how high. I mean, how much they hold. You know, with ten. I mean, again, the theory. I, I will never get enough of talking about this. Um, the theory of people being afraid at whether seventy three or a hundred or two hundred. Um, you can you can contradict that same theory by saying, well, what if everyone decided that that's it like 50 or 60 was their 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 number like what if majority of the people sold at 60 what happens then does it just go up for the the last whatever 10 15 percent whatever whoever else continues to hold does it just go up just for their sake no that's it it's done at that price then so again, the most crucial and important thing in this whole fa uh, community movement that we have called a community movement was for everyone to hold hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder and, 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 and you know, decide a, the fate of, or the fate of this, uh, of this place, of these plays. So this whole narrative of after 73 you're all on your own um uh, it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't make any sense it shouldn't even be relevant it shouldn't because at the end of the day it doesn't matter whether it's 2000 4000 40 dollars it does not matter what matters is if the majority are holding we're no one is going nowhere you know, no no case is going to go to no Supreme Court or whatever court um, and expected to, to be overthrown uh, or <laughs> denied or whatever with millions of people on it. You're talking about public interest. You're talking about possible uprisings from that. This is this is this is crazy. I mean, when when they overthrew the Capitol in Trump's tenure, uh, it wasn't this many numbers. These, these many numbers that are on board. And you're talking about people who have been not just quietly, but harvesting so much anger for over a year from the amount of manipulation that has been going on uh, for them. I mean, the idea that they understand that they've been buying fake shares and accepting, it's kind of like you being tortured and you're accepting it because you know one day justice is going to prevail. But then again, you uh, uh, somebody when when it comes time for justice somebody comes and says that uh you know no uh you 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 actually earned your torture or your punishment it just doesn't make any sense you know you got so many people that will go crazy i know that i know that 100% uh that will go crazy if if things was to happen like that so again guys the narrative of selling uh, based on fear, whatever that's again for division, and they so far are successfully winning this because in the beginning uh, stages of this movement, the easiest part for all of us was to make, I guess, a a a, 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 a bottom or an uh, that we called some uh, something that was like there was no ceiling, but we called a floor. We had a floor easily. Now, at the later stages, right before it's time, we have the issue of separation and no more floor and no more ceiling and no more none of that. Like now, it's all now the the, the problem that should have ex coexisted in the beginning is actually happening right now, rather than back then. We should have left that right way behind. Um, again, I will constantly keep saying this. GameStop went to 480 something without a squeeze. The SEC have literally said that it was nothing but FOMO that took it that far. And the 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 uh, the, the fact behind that to check fact check that is the fact that it, GameStop is not, not is not has not dropped all the way down to its knees and is done. Clearly, 
it is still a squeeze play. Clearly, it could be the biggest squeeze play. Um, I doubt it, but it's it's because you know so much of their um, so many of their plays have uh, people have 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 left ship, you know, after that. And I don't blame them. But again, at that time, they were just the first play, so therefore, um, not too many were thinking that that was possible. So, um, so yeah, like if that went to that number into the fours without any squeeze, then why are we with possibly having the most is the most shorted stock ever on the stock market hist in the stock market history are even thinking about the numbers of 200 and 150 or 300 or even 400, um, when we know that the covering has to be so astronomical and when people and this kills also another narrative this people saying that oh but when we, we we're ripping up from 15 or 14 or 13 or even 10 it's 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 not that's too small uh that's why you won't go that high like gamestop well gamestop ripped when it was at three dollars it started its movement at three dollars of course, not in one day it didn't go to 400, but it's it was around the three dollar range because again they were short in those companies. The initial beginning of this whole movement was that these predatory hedge funds were going on uh, the idea that obviously one not a lot of people knows anything. Like they looked at us again like the apes uh, that don't know anything about stocks or investments and. The line moves our emotions and that any drop scares us away and we just going to run away and try to collect whatever we can collect from our losses and damage control. But anyways, um, AMC and GameStop were the target of the, for them to be shorted to extension because it was at the time of the pandemic when they were shut down and technically they would have. If it wasn't for us, they would have been completely to zero, shut. And that was the plan for them. We came out of nowhere and revived, created these companies, which is one of the main reasons of also why I'm so, 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 so pissed at the, or, uh, the, the, the boards and the CEOs of both companies. This whole our silverback or whatever, this is yours. Not that not for me, because he wouldn't have any money if it wasn't for us. Well, like from this, like selling all these stocks, what would he what, what would he have sold them for um, if if the stock went to zero? If we didn't step in and save the company, what would any of these board members or uh, CEOs and CFOs would have sold any of their shares for? Zero dollars. So we are the ones who made the initial investment. We're the owners of this, of these companies, and we're the ones who are eating last. And let alone, they're, they're dividing us so that we can only eat crumbs, bread crumbs. Come on, guys, we need to get our shit together and, and, and start using common sense, you know, and uh, have principle. You know, if, if, if this is the principle that is going to go by, then... What was this whole thing about, movement about? Just what, every person make a few extra dollars, but guess how much in return they get? So to our each each of our dollars that we make, one dollar that we make, they make 10 or 20? It's, it's the opposite. Like these guys <laughs> literally stuck their hands down the cookie jar and somehow if they're successful with this, they were not only successful of doing it and then escaping it so with profits. I'll be back with another video, guys.